everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new here then welcome I'm Lily and today's video is going to be a summer holiday haul um, it doesn't feel like it's been two minutes since I last filmed a haul I think I posted my last one maybe just over two weeks ago now but if you did watch that one you might remember me saying that this was actually going to be a part one of two so I am back today with the second part of the haul which is very much holiday focused um, I have a holiday coming up in just over two weeks now and I have been buying quite a lot of new pieces in preparation. Um, I've got a really good mix of pieces here and in fact I think this is definitely my favourite haul I have done yet on my channel. I've got a mixture of pieces from the high street, I've got some luxury pieces, I've got some pieces from like smaller Instagram brands and I've got lots of accessories too. Um, so yeah, there is a lot to get through here so let's jump into the haul. So I'm going to start off with some pieces I picked up from Farfetch and this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by them. Um, I do have a discount code for 10% off which is Lily Clark. Um, I'll pop the details across the screen but both new and existing customers can use the code and it's valid on both full price and sale items too, which is amazing. Um, but the first piece I picked up is from an Australian brand called Sir The Label, and it is the most stunning swimsuit I think I have ever seen. Um, I love their pieces, they have some gorgeous dresses, but when I saw this swimsuit, I knew I had to have it. Um, it's given me very much like old Hollywood vibes. And we're actually going to the south of France, and for some reason, this contrast detail really gives me like south of France vibes. I'm not sure why that is but I just feel like it'd be perfect for wearing on the beach in Cannes. Um, how stunning is the colour too? It's like the perfect shade of sage green and the material is super thick. I'd say it's kind of like almost a scuba material. Um, very square necks, you've got the two spaghetti straps in the white contrasting fabric, and then you've got this belt to really cinch yourself in. Um, I love a belted swimsuit because I just think it really breaks up the swimsuit and really emphasizes your waist. Um, but yeah, I'm just in love with this piece. They do also have a bikini version. So it's like a contrast bikini top and then they do both high-waisted and just kind of, I think, tie-side bikini bottoms too. Um, so there's a few options, but I just thought this swimsuit was the absolute dream. And then I also picked up a second swimsuit from Farfetch. Um, I was looking at my swimwear recently and I felt like I really needed to upgrade it. Um, a lot of the pieces weren't in the best condition, they haven't washed very well and for me swimwear is something I feel like I can afford to spend a little bit more money on because I really want pieces that are going to last year after year. I'm not wanting to constantly upgrade it because it's not something you wear all year round, it's very much a seasonal thing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to pick up a few new pieces and I ended up ordering a second swimsuit from Totem. Um, so they are a Swedish brand and I am obsessed with this brand. Um, it's very chic, very Scandi vibes and I just fell in love with this monogram print swimsuit. Um, so yeah, it's basically got the Totem logo printed onto it and what I love about this is that obviously it is a monogram print but to me this is very much a kind of like if you know you know logo if that makes sense. Like, unless you knew the brand, you wouldn't recognise that this is a, like, branded monogram swimsuit. And I absolutely love that. So this one is very much your classic swimsuit material. It's got a scoop neck and then a lower scooped back. And I just think this is such a classic piece and makes the perfect, really nice quality addition to my swimwear collection. Next up from Farfetch, I picked up a pair of denim shorts. Now these are from the brand, I think it's pronounced a Goldie. Um, this is their logo. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is how you pronounce it. 
and I have been eyeing up some denim from this brand for so long now. Um, they're really well known for their denim pieces. I'm not actually sure if they do other clothing items as well. It might literally just be denim. Um, but when I saw these shorts, I was like, I need those because they have the nicest crossover asymmetric detail. I love this kind of detail on denim. I just think it adds a little bit of something extra to an otherwise really plain and classic piece. Um, they also have the same detail at the back, which I thought was quite cool. And in terms of the length on these, they are absolutely perfect. They are fairly long, so they really do cover your bum, like the tops of your legs, which is really important to me. Um, but they also aren't too long, so yeah, they are literally the perfect length. Um, and they are also a high rise as well, which I really love. Um, sizing wise, these come up quite big. I would actually say to size down two sizes in these. Um, I went for the waist 23 and I usually wear a waist 24, sometimes even a waist 25. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say to size down in these. Um, sometimes I actually struggle to get shorts on because I'm quite like bottom heavy. Um, so sometimes I'll just size up for the sake of that. But because of this asymmetric detail, they open really wide. So if you are like me and you are more bottom heavy, you don't need to size up. I would definitely size down two sizes, I think. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. I think they're going to make a perfect addition to my wardrobe. I've already worn them out a couple of times because it's currently very hot in the UK. In fact, I've closed the window now and I'm sweating a little bit. But it's worth it for the haul and at least I'm going to get some wear out of my summer wardrobe before I actually go away. And then the final bits I picked up from Farfetch are beauty products. Um, and now Farfetch very excitingly stock beauty brands. Um, they've got Charlotte Tilbury, they've got Tom Ford, they've got um, Alpha H, they've got Olaplex, Sunday Riley, La Mer, and loads of others. And you can use my discount code on the beauty brands too, which is fab. Um, so I picked up a couple of holiday essentials. The first one being a repurchase in a different shade. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Um, now I already have shade two and it is my everyday bronzer. It is literally my favorite bronzer of all time. Um, but I decided to pick up the darker shade, which is shade three. Um, and I wanted this to use as more of a contour shade and to also use on holiday. Um, so I have been using shade 2 as I said for my all over bronze and then I go back in with this one for contouring my cheekbones um, I always put a bit on my chest as well because for some reason my chest just doesn't take to fake tan weirdly so yeah I always bronze my chest and then I also have been using this in the outer corner of my eyes as like an eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, this is literally the best bronzer ever. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to. Um, it's very pigmented and um, it blends out really easily. So yeah, it is perfect. And then I also picked up this foundation stick from Tom Ford Beauty. Um, I've been wanting to try a cream foundation for a while and I was having a look at reviews online and this one had amazing reviews. So I decided to pick it up. Um, it is a pricier foundation for sure, but compared with the other higher end um, cream foundations, this one has way more products. So I think this is literally gonna last me forever um, but I have been playing around with it and I will insert some cutaways to the side because I filmed some stories for the beauty bits. But I found it's best to apply this directly to your face and then blend it out with a dense kabuki style brush um, and I absolutely love the finish of this. It's great if you have dry skin and um, it's a very glowy foundation. I'd say light to medium coverage, so perfect for the summer. I also find it really hydrating and whilst it is like a dewy finish, um, I found this really does last all day. Um, quite often I need to touch up around my mouth after I've like eaten lunch or had a coffee or something. Um, but with this, it definitely stays in place all day. So yeah, I have been really enjoying this too and it will definitely be coming away with me. And then finally, not a holiday purchase, but I also just wanted to show you that Farfetch stock ASOP. 
and if you know you know with this soap it is literally the best soap ever it's definitely on the pricier side but it is such a treat so it's got these kind of like little beads inside it and they really kind of exfoliate and moisturize your hands and it smells divine and um, plus you can also refill this after you are done it's not the same experience but it does look really nice by the kitchen sink um, and I also think this will be a perfect like housewarming gift as well or even just for any kind of birthday gift because it really is a luxurious product with the most beautiful branding and um, so yeah you can use my discount code for Farfetch which is Lily Clark for 10% off on beauty brands too. It's so handy that they now do beauty as well because if you are like treating yourself to a luxury purchase and you need some refills, it's really easy just to add them to your order. Um, you don't pay anything more for shipping. And I didn't mention before, but with Farfetch, the items come from brands and boutiques and department stores all across the world, um, but you don't pay anything extra for like duties and taxes. And it's great because it means you can often get pieces that are sold out elsewhere. Like for example, if a boutique just happens to have one piece in stock, um, so yeah, there are loads and loads of brands that you can use my code on, so I will leave all the details below and let me know if you pick anything up. So I thought I would keep on with swimwear because I just have a couple more pieces to show you. Um, first up being this bikini from Hunza G, which is a, another brand that you can use my Farfetch discount code on. Um, so if they stock this one, then I will leave it linked below. Um, but I really wanted a new white bikini and I've been hearing so many people talk about Hunza G recently. Um, it's essentially a one size um, swimwear brand. So the material is a like crinkled fabric and then it's like super stretchy. So um, whether you gain weight, lose weight, this is going to fit you, which I just think is fab. The fabric is amazing quality and I find that they are a really flattering fit. Um, the bottoms of this bikini are quite high legged so you can like pull them up onto your hips which is how I like to wear my bikini bottoms and then the top on this one has this twisted detail um, you can't really see that well on the hanger but you'll see obviously in the cutaways. Um, but I find this really flattering. I have also tried one of their square neck bikinis, but because I have um, smaller boobs, I find that this style that kind of dips down a little bit is just that little bit more flattering. Um, so yeah, I love this one. And then I also picked up their classic swimsuit. Um, I did get this a few months ago and I'm not sure if I've already spoken about it on YouTube but I thought I may as well show it you now. Um, so this one is more of a square neck and it's got this lovely tortoiseshell ring detail here. Um, this is the swimsuit that Rosie Huntington Whiteley posted on Instagram a few years ago now and it basically blew up the internet um, and this swimsuit was so hard to get hold of for so long um, but I know this is definitely on Farfetch at the minute. Um, so yeah, at the back it is a scooped low back and um, again it's a higher cut leg. Um, I'd say it's slightly higher cut than the two swimsuits I showed you earlier. Um, I also think you can wear the Hunza G swimwear as like bodysuits or as like a little bralette too. Um, you could definitely wear this to lunch on the beach with maybe some wide leg linen trousers over the top. I think that could look really nice. So moving on to and other stories. And the first piece is probably one of the most beautiful dresses I have ever owned. Um, I think this is going to be gorgeous for dinner, one evening in Provence. I just think it's so beautiful. Very much a vintage inspired floral print and I love this smocked bodice. Um, if you can see, it's kind of got two tiers to it. Um, so this bit is a little bit more voluminous and then it's kind of tighter here. Um, you'll see in the cutaways, but I just think it gives it the most beautiful silhouette. And for some reason, this dress is really giving me like Audrey Hepburn vibes. It's such a beautiful classic piece and I cannot wait to wear it. Um, Lengthwise, it's a midi dress. 
Um, it's like a cotton, I think it's 100% cotton, but really nice quality, um, as with everything from And Other Stories, to be fair. Um, and then it also does have pockets, which is fab. Um, but yeah, I just love it so much. Um, I'd say it's true to size. I went for the 32 and I would highly, highly recommend this dress for any upcoming holidays or occasions you might have. And then next up from And Other Stories, I picked up this little linen cord. Um, so the top is cropped and it's got these very oversized, um, very voluminous puff sleeves. I absolutely love a puff sleeve and I just thought the shape of this was so pretty. Um, and then it has matching shorts. Um, so these are just a very classic shape. Um, they are high-waisted and then they've got the turn-up detail at the bottom. Um, they also have a little belt, although I think I might remove this and pop on my own like tan belt just to break up the um, linen a little bit. Um, but I really like this natural colour and I think the great thing about a cord like this is that you can easily style the pieces separate. Um, I wore the shorts the other day with a white bodysuit, but equally I think the top would look so gorgeous with either a midi skirt or some white wide leg trousers. So you definitely don't have to buy both pieces, but obviously if you do, then you're going to get wear out of both of them. Um, I just think this is such a classic set in a gorgeous quality fabric. And I just think it's going to make a great addition to my holiday wardrobe. And then the final piece I picked up from Another Stories is this little black and white contrasting bralette. Um, I feel like this is very inspired by Chanel's um, summer collection. They have a bikini like top exactly like this. Um, and I've been seeing so many of these contrast black and white pieces all over the high street um, and I'm very much loving it. So like I said, I feel like it's really given me a South of France, Cannes beach club vibes. Um, so yeah, I picked this up and my idea for this is to style it with either a white midi skirt like the one I have coming up shortly or with black wide leg trousers. Um, I feel like this is a really good one for the evening on holiday. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. Um, this one was £17, uh, yeah, £17, and I think that's a pretty good price for Another Stories. Obviously, it is just literally a piece of fabric, but it's really nice quality, and you have adjustable straps too. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was super cute and the perfect piece that can be dressed up or down on holiday. The next piece I picked up for my holiday is this gorgeous white midi skirt from Because of Alice. Um, because of Alice is Alice Olivia's brand. I'm sure lots of you follow her on Instagram, but she has the most gorgeous minimal clothing brand. And I actually already have this skirt in black. I bought it last year for my holiday and this year I decided to pick up the white because I love it so much. Um, it's a linen blend and it is the most gorgeous quality thick material um, and also the sizing with this brand is so good. I have quite a few pieces from them now and the extra small is like a true extra small. Um, so this fits me perfectly. Um, it's really high waisted and then it's got this ruched crossover detail here and then this little bit falls down at the front. I need to give it a steam so it stays in place. Um, and then you've got a split up the front. It's kind of like off center. Um, and it's just the most gorgeous skirt. It's really flattering because it has kind of like a V waist detail. Um, again, I think you can dress this up or down. For the cutaways, I styled it with the Hunza G bikini top and a straw hat. And I think that would make such a lovely beach club outfit. But likewise, I would also wear this in the evening with a bodysuit. Um, and yeah, I just think it's the perfect skirt, beautiful quality, and I have a feeling this is going to become a essential in my holiday wardrobe. Next up, we have a piece from Skims. Um, I have been lusting after their dresses for so long now, but they always seem to be out of stock. Um, but I managed to get my hands on this one recently, and it is just gorgeous. 
Um, so this one is from their Soft Lounge range. Um, and I did actually buy one of the ones from the Fits Everybody collection as well, um, which is very similar in its silhouette, but just a slightly different fabric. Um, but because of my height, I felt like, because that's quite a stretchy fabric, I couldn't really walk in it, like it was kind of restricting me a little bit. Um, but I think if you were taller, then it had cut off at the point where you're able to actually move your legs. Um, but for me, this one worked so much better. Um, so it's a very finely ribbed material and the material is just so soft. Um, and on the hanger, it just looks like a very basic black maxi dress. But believe me when I tell you, this is literally the most flattering dress ever. There's something about the neckline. It's just so nice, so classic. Um, and then it goes down into a maxi dress. It's quite form fitting and then it flows out a little bit at the bottom, which again is just really flattering. And I just think it is the most perfect holiday evening little black dress. Um, I know Skims is quite pricey, but I've got a few of their pieces now and I really do think they are worth it in terms of quality and fit. Now, moving on to Zara. And if I'm honest, I haven't really been shopping at Zara a whole load recently. Um, nothing has really been exciting me and anything that I've ordered has just been hit and miss in terms of quality and sizing. Um, but this is probably the most successful Zara order I have done in a long time. Um, I absolutely love all the pieces I picked up and none of these pieces have gone into the sale either. Um, the sale started last night and I did check and none of these pieces have been discounted so you should definitely still be able to pick them up. Um, so this first one is a linen blend dress. It's a midi and it's gorgeous quality and also really good sizing wise. Um, I went for the extra small and it fits perfectly. Um, it's got a slight v-neck with this cutout detail and then at the back it ties up which I just think is a really nice detail. Um, what I love about this is that you can really pull this in with this string here. Um, so you can really make it taper to your waist um, so it fits so nicely and I just think this is the most gorgeous holiday dress um, maybe for like one of the last evenings when you've got a really good tan on the go um, I think this is going to be so pretty on holiday and I can't wait to take this away with me so the next dress is fairly similar to the previous in design um, both of them I wouldn't say they're bodycon dresses but they are tighter fitting and then they flow out nicely at the bottom um, but this one instead of having the strap detail it has a halter neck and then again it has cutouts in the center and um, i love the shade of blue and again i really like the fabric of this one um, i don't think it's actually a linen blend like the previous but it's really nice quality and will be perfect for on holiday and um, this one again fits really nicely i do just wish it was maybe an inch smaller around like the bust and the waist um, but I would say it's pretty true to size and this one is a little bit longer um, on me It's very much ankle length. So ideally I would have this a little bit shorter um, But I don't know whether I'll bother having it tailored or just wear it as it is Because I do think this is going to be perfect for an evening in camp next up from Zara We have a pair of denim shorts um, I'm a big fan of Zara's denim in general, so I decided to give these a try and I'm really impressed with them. Um, they are high-waisted and a really good length and I love this beige colour. Um, I feel like it's the perfect kind of off-white shade to pair with white. Um, so it works really nicely with a white t-shirt or a bodysuit um, or a linen shirt. And I feel like these are just going to go with everything on holiday, um, either over a bikini or just to wear in the day casually. Sizing-wise, I picked them up in a 32 and I would say they are completely true to size. Um, a really good fit and again just a really good wardrobe essential for summer so the next piece is from another instagram brand that i love um, this one is from vita grace who are a brand i've definitely spoken about before on my channel and um, i just think they come out with the prettiest designs for summer 
Um, so this one came in white and also in this gorgeous blue shade. Um, I think they called this lavender blue on their website and I just thought it was super pretty. Um, to be honest, a blue isn't a colour I generally go for. Um, I don't really think it necessarily suits me, but I actually do have a few different blue pieces on the veil. So apparently I'm just ignoring that this year and going for it. Um, but I thought this was so gorgeous with the puff sleeves. Um, it's got a ruched detail at the waist and then it has a cutout at the sides. Um, it's looking quite drastic hung on the hanger, but when it's on, it isn't actually that big of a cutout. Um, and yeah, I just thought this was going to be the perfect dress for exploring the little towns of Provence. Um, it's giving me a very girl next door vibes um, and just a really pretty dress to add to my summer collection. Moving on to H&M and the first piece I picked up is a gorgeous midi dress which looks like nothing on the hanger but it's one of those where you really have to see it on to see how it looks. Um, the style of this dress I would say is actually inspired by um, Sir the Australian brand I was speaking about earlier because they have a dress very similar to this and I feel like this is supposed to be a little bit of a dupe of that with a few differences. Um, so it is a high neck and it's in this kind of like nice crinkly cotton material and then you've got these big cutouts at the side which I find so flattering. I think because you've got an exposed waist it kind of gives the illusion that your waist is smaller um, you'll see in the cutaways how it looks, but I just feel like it's really flattering because of that. Um, this one is very exposed at the back, so the cutout is much bigger than on the Vita Grace dress. Um, but the back detail is so pretty. It's got a lot of like ties in a lot of places, but again, you will see in the cutaways how it looks. Um, but yeah, I just think this is such a gorgeous dress from H&M. Um, I think you could easily dress this up with heels or equally you can wear it with flats for a more chilled evening look, which I think is how I will be wearing it. And then I also picked up a shirt from H&M. Um, again, I think this would make a really nice beach cover up, um, worn open with your bikini underneath. Although I would say if you are wanting to wear it like that, I would advise sizing up. Um, I went for the extra small and in hindsight, I think I should have gone um, for maybe a medium in this, just so it's a little bit more slouchy but I have already worn this, so I will be keeping it. Um, again, it's kind of like a crinkled cotton material with this beige neutral stripe, which I really like. Um, and yeah, it's just a basic shirt in a really lightweight material for summer. So we are coming to the end of the haul now, but I just have a few accessories to show you. Um, first up are a couple of hats, which were kindly gifted to me by Lack of Colour. I have been obsessed with their hats for so long. I'd say they are most known for their wool fedoras and I do have one of those to show you in a sec. Um, but they do loads of straw hats as well. Um, so I went for this one and honestly, I am obsessed. Um, I'm not normally a hat person, but I just think this is perfect. Um, it's such a nice neutral shade, so it literally goes with everything. And I think the like shape and the brim and how big it is, is just perfect. Um, I know I'm going to be wearing this a lot when I'm away to shade my face from the sun and also for content as well, naturally. Um, but yeah, I'm just obsessed with this one. And then the other style that I went for is one of their classic fedoras. Um, these are 100% wool and they do a few different styles, um, lots of different colours too and some of them have like the band wrapped around but I opted for this super minimal off-white cream colour. I believe this is called the Melodic Fedora and it has the flipped brim which I really like. Um, so this is what it looks like on, obviously it does not go at all with the outfit that I'm wearing today but I think with bikinis on holiday or with like dresses, I think this is gonna be really cool. I see girls on Instagram in hats like this all the time in summer and it just looks so aesthetic. 
Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be taking this one away with me too to pair with different outfits. And the hats are just honestly incredible quality. Um, I've bought like straw hats from high street brands before and never been that fussed about them. But honestly, the quality of lack of colour hats are unrivaled and I'm so happy to have a couple to style for the summer. And then I also made a bit of a splurge purchase from Celine. Um, I saw this come online and I just thought it was so me and I fell in love. So I decided to order it. Um, so it is a clutch bag um, in this gorgeous like woven fabric. It's very summery and um, you've got the tan leather accents with the contrast stitching which I just think is gorgeous and I actually already have a clutch bag from Loewe that I picked up last year which I love so much. Um, I was a bit hesitant to buy it because I was like how much use am I going to get out of a clutch bag um, with it not having a crossbody strap but I have really surprised myself and used it so much. They are incredibly spacious but still very much like an evening bag which I love um, and obviously with having the wrist strap I feel like it's not really that annoying anyway and um, you just kind of get used to it so yeah I saw this and I was like that is going to be perfect for summer outfits um, so yeah, I decided to treat myself and order it. Okay, so that is everything I had to show you in today's absolutely mammoth haul. Um, if you are still with me, then you've done very well because I have been talking for so long. I need to sit down and just de-stress and have a cup of tea and not speak to anyone for a good while now. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there were so many pieces in there that I absolutely love and cannot wait to take away with me. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram and also on TikTok because I'm really going to try to be better with uploading over there. Um, I still don't really know what I'm doing but this holiday I'm going to try and put out lots of content on TikTok. Um, so please do go and follow me over there if you want to see how I am styling up all of the pieces. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I will hopefully see you in next week's video.